We're now going to take a look at the concept of backup and recovery in transaction processing systems. So basically, backup is the process of copying data to a separate medium, basically to prevent the loss of data in case anything does happen to the system. It involves duplicating data, whether it be to another type of media such as a hard drive or CDs, DVDs, or to a specific network location, whether locally to another server or on cloud storage. Recovery is the opposite process, where we need to attain this backup, backed up data from the either media or the cloud storage and install it back into the system's operating system. Now, we need to back up data for a variety of reasons because there's many ways that systems can fail. It can be due to electronic failure, hardware failing on us, software getting errors, malicious software attacking the computer, or user-generated failure where our users are just stuffing everything up. Essentially, there are two types of backups, full backup and partial backup. So if we're going to look at the backup process, perhaps in a batch system, what happens is we have our user and they are processing their transactions, entering in their data. This data would access a master file, which would be giving data so the process can be transaction. But in a batch system, it's probably saving the data to a transaction file. Okay, and this is where the data is being saved until it does get batch processed. Once the data is batch processed, it goes back into the master file. This, as we already know, is how a batch system works. In order to back this system up, we need to take the data from the master file to perform the backup. Once this is backed up, it then goes into a backup file. Now, let's say the system does go down now. In order for a restore, we need to attain the data from this backed up file, but also the data that is still in, sitting in the transaction file that has not yet been batch processed. That will get us all our data back for a full system recovery. Then this data will be entered back in, into the master file. Okay, now let's look at, in the first case, a full backup. So with a full backup, basically all data within the system is backed up to the uh, secondary storage location or in the cloud. It is a simple duplication of all the data. It is the easiest to back up and the easiest to restore, but it does have some issues with, with the performing. Basically, a full backup takes a lot of time. Okay, it may take hours. So for this reason, we do a full backup at off-peak times, which may be a Friday afternoon when everyone's left for work for the weekend, when specific drives do not need to be accessed by anyone. The other thing with full backups, uh, they require a lot of storage. Think about how large your computer's uh, hard drive is. Okay, now times that by 30 if you're a business. Okay, it requires a large amount of storage, so we need to make sure we're using the correct types of media, such as um, large external hard drives or backing up to a cloud service that is set up for us. Okay, so full backups are obviously the best type of backup for securing all our data, but we do need the time and the storage capacity to use them effectively. Okay, so this is the reason we don't do full backups all the time. We do have to incorporate full backups with occasional partial backups as well for smart backing up.